Hi, welcome back uh, to my channel. So uh, if you already viewed some of my videos, you probably know that I'm not yet a ham radio operator. I don't have a license. Uh, but one of the reasons uh, that I got interested in RF is definitely long range uh, communication uh, in the HF uh, frequency band, basically from 1.8 megahertz to 30 megahertz. And as uh, my first radio, I bought uh, the AKRF that, uh, you know, it's, uh, is the topic of discussion of many of my videos. And this is because it allows to experiment with so many things uh, from HF, uh, VHF, HF, uh, basically every frequency is every mode uh, from uh, 1 megahertz to 6 gigahertz. So this is really um, an amazing device. And now I would like to experiment with it uh, as a transmitter for HF. Uh, of course, this is not going to be by any means the best transmitter but for HF, but again, it's, uh, the value of the Akaraf really is in its uh, flexibility. Um, so I'm very happy to, to experiment with this. And one day, if I like the hobby, if I like, uh, uh, well, uh, ham radio HF communication, well, I will do a license and I will perhaps buy a more specific instrument. But anyway, for the moment, I'm happy to experiment uh, with the Akaraf. In particular, in, uh, in HF, I'm very interested in the, uh, digital modes. So digital modes, there are very many of them. And basically, they all have the characteristics. They have different purposes, but um, the idea is that you can have some of these modes allow you to communicate with uh, very long distances at uh, very low power, relatively speaking. Uh, so the general setup for using the uh, AKRF as a transmitter is very simple. You have the AKRF. Uh, you're going to transmit uh, with it, but the transmission of the AKRF, as you know, is pre pretty low power. Typically, we might expect this uh, output to be, in fact, less than uh, minus uh, 10, uh, plus 10 uh, uh, dBm. Okay, so it's very, it's very um, low power. So we need an amplifier uh, to amplify this signal to a level that allows uh, decent long uh, range communications. And then we will have a, we absolutely need a low pass filter to get rid of the harmonics generated by the amplifier. And, and then we can uh, transmit uh, using the antenna system. Uh, now, a uh, typical uh, um, power strength that I want to reach here is uh, 5 watts. Okay, 5 watts is considered a QRP or basically low power transmission in AM radio. So with the digital modes and 5 watts uh, QRP, you can actually reach uh, very long distances. So that's a very interesting uh, low power thing to try to achieve out of the AKRF. And uh, if you follow one of my recent videos, I tried uh, this uh, uh, to buy one of these cheap uh, amplifiers uh, from China. Uh, this model, but it failed pretty quickly. The sync was not, the heat sync was not uh, up to the task. And um, so, yeah, I do not recommend uh, this product. It only costs 10 uh, euros, but, uh, you know, uh, it's not worth uh, the money, really. And so I've decided to, to I searched basically in the internet for uh, stuff to buy with the idea that, of course, with the AKRF, you want to maintain the, the, the cost very low. OK, so this is just uh, basically to play around and not to spend uh, big money. So I wanted to keep uh, uh, basically my, my budget very low and I found a very uh, interesting option at uh, QRP Labs. So here I bought uh, um, a low pass filter, basically this part. This is rated up to 10 watts, so it should be uh, enough for this uh, 5 watt uh, goal that I have. And uh, for this, uh, uh, the amplifier stage, I bought uh, this amplifier. Okay, this is uh, a 20 plus 26 uh, dB and uh, it is rated for 10 watts. In fact, it can go a little bit uh, higher than that according to specifications. And it comes with a very big, uh, or relatively speaking, big uh, uh, heat sink. Um, right, so once uh, you buy these things, you can then, uh, um, you know, print the manuals so these are very nice manual of course you have to these are kits so you have uh, to to build uh, by yourself so this is what i'm going to do in the basically in when i have time and in the near future and uh, yeah in particular uh, the manual for the amplifier is very is very big uh, contains a lot of details so it's going to be very interesting to 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 do this project 
And the interesting thing is also that the, the low cost. So uh, I paid in total. Uh, so for uh, um, the, uh, as you can see here, for the um, for the amplifier, twenty six dollars. For the low pass filter, uh, less than five dollars. And I also bought a band pass filter. Okay. So the idea is, uh, um, let me show you to you that uh, you know the AKRF produces some harmonics here by itself, uh, uh, even before the amplification. So it might be an interesting option to even, uh, you know, filter uh, these harmonics by putting a, a band pass filter here. So that's uh, why I also bought uh, this uh, 20 meters uh, band pass filter here. Okay, so now we have the three components, a band pass filter for 20 meters, so 14 megahertz, the amplifier and the low pass filter. Now, uh, this amplifier, as, uh, as I told you, is a plus uh, 26 uh, dB. And so, um, 5 watts is uh, 36 uh, uh, dBm. And so this means that uh, to reach these 5 watts uh, from the AKRF, I would need uh, how much? About uh, 10 dB of uh, dBm of power in the output, okay? So yeah, it should be possible to get about 5 watts just with this uh, basic uh, setup. Um, if that's not uh, sufficient, I found, um, uh, decided also to buy an interesting uh, second and uh, uh, pre-amplifier on the... Uh, from mini circuits. I will do a separate video on this uh, thing because it's pretty interesting. Uh, I mean, it's a good, a good amplifier. And the idea is that, you know, I could uh, put this amplifier at this stage here, just after uh, the, um, the AKRF, and basically to get uh, to this. Uh, so the idea is that I will be able to produce a lower signal with the AKRF, let's say at uh, 0 dBm amplify it uh, to the right level using this uh, uh, pre-amplifier and then send it if necessary to the bandpass filter or possibly in, directly to this uh, second uh, much uh, powerful uh, 26 dB amplifier by QRP. So yeah, this is basically the setup I want uh, to test uh, to use the AKRF uh, as a transmitter on the 14 uh, megahertz uh, uh, 20 meters uh, band. And this is basically the general scheme you will have to do for any usage of the AKRF as a transmitter in the real world where you need uh, some power. So basically amplifying a low pass filter, possibly with some uh, pre-filtering and possibly with some uh, pre-amplifications. So I will try to document um, this uh, the best I can. Hopefully this will work, uh, will work fine. And uh, this same uh, setup should actually work uh, basically, I mean, changing these uh, components also for VHF, UHF, or whatever. So that's uh, the general pattern that I, um, I will uh, try to explore now. Uh, yeah, once I, I do my experiment, I will do a full review of these, uh, well, the amplifier, the filters, and even this mini circuit uh, uh, amplifier here, which I bought for around uh, 30 euros on eBay. And uh, because I think uh, all in all, this is going to be a relatively cheap uh, setup uh, for using the AKRF. Uh, you know, as a transmitter for QRP, 5 watts uh, power. So this might be inter interesting uh, for several people. Okay, so that's uh, all I wanted to, to tell you in this video. And um, I see you next time. Bye.